Gordon, the big blue explosive engine, was stuck shunting. Ugh, he said. Why am I stuck doing this? Because, Gordon, it's probably a punishment, said Stoppin' High in the distance. But it's not a very fair punishment, said Gordon, and he let a cargo cow go. Gordon, go get that! Ugh, said Gordon. Gordon then thought of an idea. I'm gonna get Edward back, he said, since he got the new look. He should get crushed and embarrassed, he thought silently to himself. I'm gonna do that. With the little help of this, of course. So, I'm gonna take the milk away, said Gordon. Okay, Gordon, thank you. You're welcome, said Gordon cheekily and passed away. Although Gordon should have known better. Gordon came around the hill, or around the bend. Gordon came around the bend and smashed into the cargo car and it fell into the sea. Gordon, said Porter. Oops, said Gordon and rushed away. What are you doing with that milk? Gordon then, the milk then uncoupled. Porter, grab onto the milk for me, please. Why, said Porter. Thank you. Now buffer it to my front buffer, said Gordon. Why? Stop asking questions, just do it, said Gordon. Okay, said Porter, he gave it to Gordon. Here you go. Thanks, said Gordon, and he rushed away. But why, if, what, what is the purpose of that, and why am I helping you, said Porter. But Gordon was already too far away to hear. Gordon waved by Cranky. What is he doing? thought Cranky. Hi, Gordon. Hi, said Gordon. What the stop, Rosie? Oh, good, thought Gordon. There's Edward. He came racing around the bend. Edward, come here, please. Why is Gordon calling for me? He never calls for me, thought Edward. I don't know, said Donald and Douglas. Yeah, that is odd. Edward soon turned around. Yes, Gordon? Come here, please, said Gordon, and he backed up. <laughs> Follow me. Gordon, what is it, said Edward. Come here. Just tell me what you need, said Edward. What? Oh, Edward, thought Gordon. Why do you have a milk tanker? How sad would it be if this milk tanker crashed all over your new paint? Gordon, don't. I already fell off the rails because of Spencer. I cannot fall off again. <coughs> I cannot fall off again because of you. Well, that's not up to me. I mean, up to you, Edward. It's up to me, thought Gordon. He started the back up. Gordon, don't, said Edward, and he started the reverse too. Perfect, thought Gordon. Three! Uh-oh. Two! Oh my! One! Ah! Uh, charge! Gordon! Said Edward, please! Gordon came wasting at Edward at full speed, smashed into him. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, thought Edward, milk splashed all over him. But Gordon came off the rails as well. Ugh! I doesn't mean to fall off the rails too. Ah! Oh, both of the blue engines were laying on the ground. But Gordon looked at Edward and he was covered in milk. Ah! <coughs> <coughs> ha 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 ha! Gordon was laughing hysterically. Gordon! Screamed Edward. Well, that's payback for Gordon. Because I want the new look instead. Look at how nice your tando even is. Gordon! Screamed Edward. Edward! Screamed Gordon. All the engines at the shed looked at dis in disbelief and horror. Someone needs to tell us the top of the hat, said Hero, who was still on the ground. I will, said Bell, so top of the hat will listen to an engine like me. And Bell raced off. You won't get away with what you did, Gordon, said Bell, and she was off. Huh? I think Bell's going to tell us the top of the hat. No! Bell, don't, said Gordon, but Bell was already off. Ah! See, Gordon, this is why you shouldn't mess with me. Edward! Bell came racing along the line. This is an emergency, she said. Huh? said Rosie. Do you know what she's talking about, Porter? I have no idea, said Porter. Okay, said Rosie. Meanwhile, the top of the hat was with Howie. I wonder what's taking Gordon so long. The neither of them had known that Gordon crashed with Edward on the other side of the island. Bell came in. Oh! Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, said Belle. Um, it's okay, Belle. Um, 
Would you be able to take the aquarium cows for me? Yes, I can in a minute, sir. I just need to tell you something. Okay, said Father Platt, and Belle explained what happened between Gordon and Edward. What? He did what? Said Sir Top Matt. Yes, sir, he did, and I don't know what we're supposed to do. Well, what we're supposed to do is going to go talk to him. So come on, Belle, let's go. We all? Yeah. He now clashed Edward again. Now I have to send Edward for more repairs, probably. Ugh, said Sir Top Matt. Sounds all right with me, sir, said Belle. So Top Matt hopped aboard Belle, and Belle was on. Go save the day, shouted Harvey. Go save the bell day, Belle, like you always do, always have, always have, and always will do. Belle was off. So look at that. Bother, said Scott Matt. Gordon Polly pushed into the water when, when he shouldn't have. Yes, he did, support it. Ah. Both of the engines were still on the ground when they heard a familiar whistle. I know who that is, said Edward. Ah, said Gordon. Bell raced in when Sir Topham Hatt stepped out. Gordon, said Sir Topham Hatt, walking over to him. You can continue on your way, Bell. Okay, said Bell, and she crept away. Gordon, what is the meaning of this? Sorry, sir, said Gordon. No, not sorry, sir. You did this all on purpose. Right? Gordon went silent. Right? Yes, I did, said Gordon. I feel terrible just... So why does Edward get a new shape and I do? New shape? Edward got... I decided to remodel Edward because he was, is one of the oldest and most reliable engines on the railway. Will I, sir? Well, I was thinking about it, Gordon, but after this, no way. What? Said Gordon. No, sir, you have to let me get... get I don't want to hear it, said Stop Matt. You'll be going to the works to get regular repairs, and Edward will get his special repairs. Okay? Or maybe no, I won't send you to the works. I will send you to the Steamworks. And Edward will get sent to the works. So then you guys are a pout for a little while. Do you hear me? Yes, sir, said Gordon. Sorry, sir. Good, because I do not need this kind of behavior demonstrated by an engine of yourself, Gordon. Yes, sir, said Gordon. Sorry, sir. Good. Now, I would like you to apologize to Edward. Yes, sir, said Edward. Do it, said the top hat. Edward, said Gordon. Edward didn't respond. Edward, someone looked at Edward. Yes, Gordon, finally said Edward. I'm sorry for um, knocking you off the track. It's okay, said Edward. Just don't do it again, okay? All right, said Edward, said Gordon. And the two friends waited to get picked up by Harvey and Rocky. The end.